Hello and welcome again here on our channel for another travel video. On today's video, we are traveling to Addis Ababa with Ethiopian Airlines on their economy class from Washington, D.C. We want to provide you with a comprehensive travel review so that you are prepared on your next travel with Ethiopian Airlines. We will review the boarding process, the cabin, the in-flight entertainment, the lavatory, food, and overall service. So join us as we make our way down to Addis Ababa with Ethiopian Airlines. Our journey started at Dallas Airport. Traveling with the airlines four times now for multiple destinations, it seems like that it is the theme for this airline. The staff are not interested in assisting the passengers and they just lack customer service. Anyways, after that brutal, long, and complicated process, we made it through the security quickly at Dallas and went to the Turkish Airline Lounge, available for Star Alliance passengers traveling in the business class or that have a status with the Alliance. Given that Ethiopian Airlines is part of the Star Alliance, this lounge is available for their members and passengers. Also, since this was the only Star Alliance flight leaving in the morning out of that terminal, the lounge was filled with Ethiopian Airlines passengers. We, however, got access because of our, our priority pass access. The lounge is small, but overall, it offers different variety of food and beverage for the customers. We started our boarding process 30 minutes behind schedule, which made already our short connecting time in Addis Ababa even shorter. So we're flying Ethiopian Airlines economy from Washington to Addis Ababa. So we're gonna see how this goes here with Abigail. Thank you. Everybody else is there. So we're gonna show you guys how the plane looks like and then everything else on board. First impression of the cabin is that it is older than usual. The cabin is divided into two classes, business class configuration 232 and economy class with configuration of 333. Anyways, we made it our way quickly to our seats. The seats are standard economy class seats, but with a bit of leg room. So first thing that I noticed here uh, during the boarding process, it was already delayed. And then the boarding process was a little bit confusing and a little bit disorganized, but we got in. Uh, so we're boarded now, we're sitting here. I'm gonna evaluate the seating area. And then from there, I'm gonna also evaluate the onboarding experience with Ethiopian Airlines. So as far as the seating area, uh, there's plenty enough of space. Uh, again, for somebody like me, I think a taller person will definitely be a problem. Um, for the kids, it's not so much that space. You have the entertainment here that some of them work, some of them doesn't. So for example here, this thing is moving around. So it's, I don't know. I mean, the, the plane is just a little bit too old. But anyways, if you can see the space here. we got windows, um, so two windows here. Uh, and then for the configuration, we got one window there. So, but anyways. By the way, if you are new to our channel, welcome and thank you to those who have been with us since the beginning. We are the Ponzo family. Here on our channel, we provide travel tips so that you can save money, time while maximizing your travel. If this is something that interests you, please be sure to subscribe. Also, if you enjoy watching this video, be sure you smack the like button and share this video with many others. It will help us with algorithm as well. Now it's time for the lavatory review. Checking out the bathroom. So the bathroom is spacious enough, but it's a little bit dirty. So, it, you know, uh, I don't know. Somebody already used the toilet, so, and we haven't even taken off yet. The bathroom is space enough. It's really big and it's all the way at the back here. So, again, the mirror over there, I can wave myself, everything else. So there's a lot of mirrors, but it's a little bit not clean. So that's something you can analyze as a Soon the doors were closed and we started our journey to Addis Ababa, which totals to 14 hours of flight time. Our journey will take us north from DC towards New England, then crossing the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, passing Portugal, Spain before entering the continent of Africa and down to Addis Ababa.
Now for the review of the seat area and in-flight entertainment. The in-flight entertainment are touchscreen and remote usage. However, they both seem not to be working. Even the middle seat IFE was not working properly. But once you have it working, you can find a rather short list of movies to keep you entertained during the flight. There is a USB and AUX plug in front of the seat, which is really just there for decorations as they did not work the entire flight. About one hour into the flight, the meal service began. We had the options of a variety of drinks, including selected wines. For the meal, you had the option of chicken or fish. So right now they just served us some um, drinks and a little bit of snacks just to begin first and then now the service already started just one hour after we have taken off. So for me I got asked them for red wine and also asked them for a Coke Zero and then I also got water. Well same milk. Also got water and orange fanta. One thing they forgot to mention is that the food is a bit spicy for the kids. I do understand that spicy food is common for Ethiopians, but the airline should be mindful of other kids who are not from the spicy culture background. Overall, the food was very tasty and enjoyable, so no complaint there. Then it was time for some shut eyes. We wanted the kids to adjust to the time zone of our destination, so sleep was a must. Midway through the flight, a light meal service was provided. I had a sandwich. One hour prior to landing, they served breakfast. We got about, about 20 minutes left on our flight to the landings. Mr. Samuel slept a little bit, but he's not been behaving at all. So. We started making our descent to Addis Ababa with the beautiful sunrise and the mountain views. Since we're getting to the end of our travel journey, let me tell you my final thoughts on this flight. Overall, the flight was great. The flight attendants were friendly and helpful at times. The meal was okay and the seats were comfortable. The shortcomings were that the plane is just old. Maybe it is time for a bit of a TLC on this plane.
The ground staff were horrible and need to be retrained. If Ethiopian Airlines is going to compete in this market and be the travel leaders in Africa, they need a better training program or retraining program. We remind you to wait in the data terminal to the next 40 devices or carry any access to the city of 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 Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this flight review. If there is something else that we can improve, let us know in the comments and always remember to be respectful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and then the notification bell so that way you know when we drop a brand new video. So we just landed in Addis Ababa. We are now here in Africa. We're gonna catch our next flight to Kinshasa. Thanks for flying with us. We will see you on the next travel video.